it's been a hot minute and I do apologize for not having a video last week other than of course my Team C's video and about that plastic but we haven't had an actual building Mumbo's base episode for I think two weeks now so I do apologize for that I've been really busy with other stuff and school work and all of that but in the meantime as you guys saw in that time lapse I did try and get as much work as I possibly could get done and that of course was all of the rock wall on that left side there. And actually I quite like how this wall turned out overall. I especially like all of the curving and I really really like how this kind of green section came together and how it all fits together there and how that little bit of brown sort of dirt is coming out there and I think it all just merges together really really well. And further back there you can see I started to do some vine work although obviously that's not final and I have to add a bunch more but you can start to get a sense of what I'm doing there with the vines and then that will continue all the way across the wall and actually one of my favorite angles from this is viewing it from right about there and that's a good thing because that's the front side so that's the side where most people will be looking at it from anyways but I really like how you can see like the difference in rock and how this one kind of sticks out and then like you can see it stick out further back and then how it sticks out even more all the way at the back there but you may ask what are we gonna be doing for the rest of the episode because all of this work here is enough to be in its own episode alone but today what I want to do is work on a little bit of Lego redstone or those linear actuators that I showed you guys in the previous episode so I would like to try and figure out these guys and try and get a design in for the waterfall in the back maybe even continue on the cliffs if I feel like doing that although I don't really because I've done a lot of cliffs in the past week but I think that's the main thing that we want to do in this episode is try and get a basic design down for those waterfalls so then they can open and close and now if I can quickly find some parts here and throw together a quick mock-up I can show you guys what I'm sort of thinking for this design and please keep in mind I said quick mock-up so this is not gonna be anything fancy at all so let's just pretend that this line right there is kind of like the cliff so that's like the general spot where the cliffs are and we'll say that the water is right about there maybe and so what I want to do is basically have these curved like round parts sitting between where the cliff is going to be and where the water is going to be. And basically what this is going to do is the linear actuator is going to line up with this curved section and then when it opens it's going to first open a little bit this way but then eventually it's going to start pushing against this curved piece and then start getting pushed outwards and now i know that's going to be a lot of force on this piece going this way but hopefully it should all work out and then that will mean that we'll have a motion of it kind of coming out this way and then forward so we'll have like a this sort of motion so i think that should be really cool because then like the waterfall will move back and then open to the sides versus just coming in on the sides so hopefully all of that makes sense and obviously the backup plan is to not have this at all and just have the waterfall like slide in behind the rock wall which i suppose is going to work but it won't look as cool as having like a dual motion having it move back and to the side so i believe that these curved pieces are probably the best way to solve that so hopefully that quick little demonstration there helps you understand what I am trying to do and another thing that arrived in the mail besides all of the various rock parts that have been coming in bricklink orders like some of these ingots and other slopes and all that but I got an actual Lego order from the Lego store and in it is just basically a bunch of these filler bricks along with some other slopes and stuff that I ordered but I've already put them away but all of these should help to fill up the back of the base because obviously we still have to do that as well and so another thing that Mumbo has gone ahead and done is that he built that entire kind of storage area and kind of like fancy interior so I guess we'll have to be replicating that as well. So that will probably go in the center, but then on the sides, I plan on filling up all of the parts about to this ground level. And then I think I'm gonna open it up from there, mainly because I won't have enough parts to fill it all in, but also because I think Mumbo is still planning to put a planetarium up above or like stars or whatever. So hopefully that I can make that work. But obviously Mumbo hasn't built it yet, so we'll just have to wait and see. 
So I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time here trying to figure out the design for these things. Then I'm gonna bring you back and maybe we'll even do some building on camera, which I normally don't do, but hey, maybe I'll take you through the process this time. So let me go ahead and figure out what the heck the design is gonna be for these linear actuators. So while I go ahead and design that system, there is something that I completely forgot to mention in that last clip, and it is that I am now streaming on Twitch. So I thought I'd go ahead and try it out so if you guys want to jump over to twitch i'm streaming on there every single saturday whenever the time it says it is because you all live in different time zones and every week we should be streaming the building of mumbo season 8 base but we could be doing other things sometime in the future and now a quick question i want to ask you guys and i know it's getting a bit boring just staring at this black screen here but would you also like me to stream on a weekday so probably wednesday would be the best day but let me know in the comments if you would like me to stream on another day besides saturday as i would like to as well and it would allow me to get a little bit more progress done and also stream it to you guys on a fun platform like twitch so please let me know but back to the video so quick update i've done a little bit of work on these linear actuators and kind of got the slope and design in place so basically when this thing retracts then it will follow this kind of slope and be pulled back into the rock and I've kind of got a place and all the stuff sort of laid out and a general idea starting to form so with this design here it might be a little bit tricky to demonstrate but Basically, as the tip of the linear actuator there retracts, and I know it's spinning and it won't do that when we have like more rock and stuff actually attached to there, but basically when it spins, it will follow these slopes all the way around and eventually this little dark bluish gray tip here will end up somewhere around here. So I've kind of got a place where it's gonna rotate around. You can see that orange stud there, that's kind of where it's going to rotate and where all the sloping is gonna be. And it's gonna be obviously the same on both sides. And then obviously when this thing is fully extended, it comes right to the middle there. And this entire thing can still barely, if I can get my finger in there, it can still all split apart there. So that feature is still functional and we'll be able to break apart this base into those quadrants to be able to transport it. And now one issue that I was running into that I think I've solved is that I need this side to be pushed into these slopes and these bricks here. So then it can, you know, slide along here because if it was not, then it would just retract straight back. And now one issue that I was running into is that I needed this entire linear actuator to be pushed backwards. So then all of this would be actually pushed against the slope because otherwise it would be pushed out here. And then once when the linear actuator gets fully extended, then it would just go straight back and would not fall this course at all so basically what I am going to do is have one of those Lego elastic bands probably attached somewhere around here it will go back and be like around another piece over here so that will pull this back and then when this retracts then it will follow that course and it will all work out pretty well and it will all follow this track that I have laid out. So hopefully you guys can start to visualize my ideas and concepts here and start to get an idea of what I'm trying to accomplish with this. But I've been working on this for a good solid couple of hours and it's getting late so I'm gonna head to bed. So as you guys can see I've been at this for actually I think a couple of days now since the last clip and progress has been very, very slow. I mean, when you just look at the stuff that I was working on, so that little section right there with like the kind of sloping and stuff, it actually looks worse than it did before. And that's because I've been going back and forth on ideas, trying to make everything fit and trying to make sure everything will be run smoothly when it's all complete. And the issue that I was running into is that obviously we're going to have to have a cliff here. So then that means that if the waterfall was all the way out here, we'd have to move that all back and it would probably collide with the cliff. So then I decided that we needed to move up the section forwards. And there's a bunch of other issues that comes with that. And also I realized that this right here is actually like the main entrance to the rest of the inner side of Mumbo's base there. So it can't be all rainbow colored and like built up. It has to be fairly flat so then like someone could walk through there. Although I know Mumbo kind of 
flies through there most of the time but it can't be like this big huge structure that i'm building up and i would like it to be a little bit lower like flush with the floor but there is just not the room i'm sitting on one plate there and i can't go any lower because this thing needs to be raised up by a plate so there is this little kind of gap or bump up there but it should be fine and i will be if i can get this little slope to stick on there i'll be doing something like that and sloping it all off and then doing it up into mumbo's base and then starting to get that decoration in place so sadly since this is taking so long i think i'm going to have to wrap up the episode here as i would like to get it out to you guys and it's been quite a long time since a episode and i know this episode was a little bit short mainly because i did most of the work off camera and during that short time lapse but we did get a pretty ridiculous amount of progress done in this episode we started work on this linear actuator nonsense here as well as we finished up those cliffs on the left side there so that is looking absolutely fantastic and in the next episode, hopefully we can finish up these things. I will probably do a little bit of work off camera as well as in a stream on Twitch. And then hopefully in the next episode as well, we'll work a little bit on the cliffs. Probably won't finish them as they do take a while, but we'll do a little bit of those two things. If you've made it this far in the video, then thank you so, so much. You're an absolute legend. And if you enjoyed this building series, then please leave a like on the video. And with that said, Gigahertz Productions, out.